effect of uh, mankanax on your plot of land imagine this guy here he bought this land i think 25 by 25 he bought this land and you can see these plants all over the land this is mankanax or uh, popularly called never die this is it in action and it is everywhere on this plot of land this takes a lot to uproot. It takes uh, a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. Except uh, when it's a rainy season. Each one of these matana to uproot it is not cheap. So imagine you have all this on your land that you are about to buy. So I will uh, encourage you to really make your investigation before you buy any, any part of land to see that you don't have this quantity of mankanas. Uh, because it's really it's everywhere in Gambia, but at least if you can reduce the amount that you're gonna have on your land, than to have this much of it, you can really see them. They are just they have a peculiar shining on it, and they are just there. Nothing, nothing, no benefit, nothing. It's uh, it's just it's just there. So this kind of a thing, you want to really avoid it uh, in buying your plot of land. It's very important. I think this person might be leaving it for the rainy season to uproot it because if you try to uproot this during the uh, dry season, it's very hard and you will might not be successful in doing that because many will break on the ground. And when many break on the ground, they grow again. And they break your foundation. They tear that foundation open. So you have to make sure that you don't have this mankanas on your land you have to make sure it's better and it's better to wait for the uh for the uh rainy season so you can make sure it is completely uprooted from your land so that is what i've seen about that and you got to be really careful when this is being done so when it's been when you see this kind of a thing. So be careful. All right. Bye.